<laughs> Good morning. Uh, the title uh, of the video today is actually a question. Are true expressions of feeling permitted? There are many, there were many comments on my last video, I'm sorry, so sorry. Most, as always, are generally supportive. Some people, however, seems to have an axe to grind. I wish I believed they simply do not understand the pain I feel with the threats hanging over my head and the horrendous sense of injustice. No one, including me, will ever satisfy everyone, but I am really disappointed in those who seem devoid of compassion. Frankly, it does hurt. I'm not above such feelings and perhaps never want to be. I'm very human, and I believe human, fully human, is divine. I do my best to tell my truth faithfully. <laughs> Indeed, I'm catching my breath because I just got back from the gym, by the way. Uh, I haven't even changed my workout clothes yet. <laughs> but in any case, uh, yesterday was disappointing uh, for a number of reasons. My uh, retired attorney friend who was uh, going to be helping me f uh, file papers and, 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 go, and create the papers that need to be filed, uh, ended up going into the hospital, which sort of put everything for me on delay and created a whole lot more pressure. I finally did yesterday uh, get the papers created and uh, will be uh, uh, serving them to the court today. And the sheriff will also get a copy. But folks, you know, I don't go on other people's... If I don't like somebody, I just ignore them. I just let them be. I don't go after them with a vengeance and, and try to argue with them all the time. That's just not my nature. It apparently is the nature of some people. They have to prove somebody else wrong. It's not my job, even with the ambassador and what he did earlier this year. It, I don't go, I don't go, I just don't listen to him. I just let him go. Now, he did send me a, a Christmas greeting, and I, which I appreciate. And uh, I did say again, I'm not a liar, because he accused me of being a liar. But I'm not going to go on his, his page, on, on his videos and stuff like that, and make negative comments and try to attack him. What is it with people that think that they have a right even to do that? What's the motivation? What's the sick motivation between trying to make somebody else feel bad? As I said, and as those of you that listen know, I've been struggling this year with, my, with life and death principles, not to mention even my home being threatened to be taken out from under me. Now, I'm a senior citizen. They, senior citizens have rights, you know, and this, this house has been, for ten and a half years, my homestead. And are in, are in Florida homestead rights. And it doesn't matter the, the, whether they've attached a mortgage or bought the house for $100 or, or all the, the things that they've done and ignoring ignoring the previous agreement that if I allowed them to sell the other house in Merritt Island, that this house would be clear. That was the bargaining chip and I wouldn't make any other claims against them. None of, none of that even matters. But what is it that makes people want to attack, attack, attack? You know, if you don't like what I'm saying, just go somewhere else where you like what they're saying. Build what you like. Don't attack what you don't like. Now you say, Ron... Don't you attack the cabal? Yes. Yes, I attack the cabal. But I don't go on Obama's web page, if he has one, and I'm sure he probably does, and attack constantly. When Bush was president, with Cheney as his vice president, I didn't I wasn't attacking them, attacking them, attacking them. Did I disagree with them? Yes, I did. But attacking somebody in a frontal attack by name, what does it accomplish? What does it accomplish? What kind of mentality is it that makes people think that they can accomplish something positive by putting somebody else down? I don't understand. Help me understand this, will you please? You know, it's, if you think I'm wrong, 
Good for you. I'm glad you think I'm wrong. Spread what you think is the truth. Spread it to the best of your ability. And love those that are with you and be appreciative of those that are supporting you in your effort to do whatever your effort is. But why would, your, why would you think it's worthwhile to go and expend your energy attacking somebody that you disagree with? You know, get a life. Now, of course, some people will say, and it's probably true, that these spammers, these people, are paid, are actually paid to do what they're doing. They're trolls, in other words. And, and their job is to attack and to, and to make people look bad or try to make people look bad. And I'm sure many, many people through the years have been very discouraged because of that tactic. And it's a tactic of an evil mind, of a sick personality, of a demonic possessed individual. You know, there is no benefit to attacking. Even in the world that we live in, it's not about attacking. It's about building what is right. It's about building what, uh, what will support life, what will support mankind's growth and mankind's en enlightenment. What supports that? That's what we need to be feeding. What supports the highest ideal? Now, some people criticized because I supported uh, the, the Republic, and Tim Turner, of course, is in jail, and he was the president of the Republic. But the principle of the Republic was a good principle, and I supported it then. I support it now. I don't care who the people are that are involved. I support the idea of a free nation, of a nation of constitutional rights that are honored and vetted by the system. But that's not the world that I live in. Now, do I rail against the system? Yes. Do I rail against individuals? No. I'm not going to get on here and, and lambast people. I might name somebody, like, like the attorneys that have been involved, I might in the future name some of these people that have broken their promises to me. Kimberly Rizanka, I think I've already named. She's the primary one because she's the one that made the deal with me that if I let them sell the Merritt Island property, my home would be secure. She lied. But in general, I'm not going I'm not going to go on her web page and attack now. I am going to be she is going to get served the papers that are being served today. Uh, that were cre finally created yesterday by myself. I didn't have any lawyer assistant assisting me as I thought I was going to have. So I did the best that I could by myself. And I, I think they came out pretty good. Uh, it was a few hours work, three or four hours work, but it, it came out pretty good. But in any case, I, I, want, I want to make it clear that I express on these videos what feelings I'm having, what I'm going through. I don't have to measure myself by your standards. Neither do you have to measure yourself by mine. Choose the standards that resonate with you at this stage of your development. This is my stage of development, where I am right now. What I'm going through right now, this is where I am. This is what's, this is what's happening in my world. This is what consumes my consciousness. And, and I have a right and a, quite honestly, in my opinion, a responsibility to express truthfully what's going on. And, I, and I've tried to do that in video after video after video, and I've been doing this for almost five years. I only missed maybe two weeks worth of videos when I was too sick or whatever to, to make the videos. But I've been faithful in, in bringing a video forth, sometimes more than one, almost every single day for five years. And I don't know if I'm going to continue next year. Honest, I don't. At this point, I don't know what my future looks like. It's a, it's a muddied slate. I was going to say a blank slate, but it's not blank. It's muddied because of so much uncertainty. And I don't like uncertainty. It doesn't feel good. But anyway, I, I do appreciate those of you who do your best to be supportive and understanding. I wish everyone would do that. And Thank you for listening. Namaste.